It is that time of year to get to the perfect holiday aesthetic that you've been waiting for, and in a real easy way. Wait, let me show you. This is important. This is important. Don't look at my belly. Look. Don't look at my pants either, they're pajamas. It lights up. It's a party, Christmas party. If you're watching this, either Christmas is coming or it just went, so. Sorry, that was a necessity to the video. Necessity. All right, what's up everyone? It's Modern Millie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media. So give a little love tab on that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks that I have for you. First, I wanna say a huge thank you to this video's shout outs. I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for all of you. So if you want to shout out in one of my future videos, screenshot yourself watching this video and tag me on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, timestamps will be in the comments down below because I know how valuable your time is and you already know why you're here. So let's get into it. Today, I'm going to be showing you five different ways to edit your photos for this winter season using the Visco app. All of these ways that I'm going to be showing you in today's video are using Visco's free filters. You do not have to upgrade or purchase any other version of the Visco app to recreate these edits. I will have a link in the description below where you can download these presets as well as 10 other ones that I'll include. In the download, there will be a mixture of free filters and purchase filters because I do have the purchase version of Visco. And if you do too, I wanna to show you some other fancy edits that you could use for the holiday season. Okay, we're gonna go into the Visco app. And as you can see, I already have some photos here. So I'm just gonna go in. What I like to do when I make these videos is I like to edit a bundle of photos together so I could see what the preset would look like as if it was in the feed. So that is why I'm editing photos like this one. For this first edit, we're gonna go into the filter M5. M as in Mary, bring the intensity only to eight. Then we're gonna go there and adjust the exposure to negative one. Contrast, negative one. Saturation bump it down a little bit, like 0.5. Temperature, just bumped down a little bit as well. And highlights. Seven, seven and a half, somewhere between there. And that is the first filter. Here's a little before and after. It's really good for if you have more of like a minimalist vibe going on in your photos, very neutrals. I think it's just a nice, subtle, clean edit. If you're somebody who has been looking for a step-by-step -step kind of tutorial for how to create your own Instagram aesthetic, then you can check out my video in the card above. I show you how you can create an aesthetic that is perfect for you and not copying anybody else's style. The next edit, the next edit we're going to go into is starting with the filter T1. T as in tinsel. M, I said M for Mary, like um, like the, what is it, the set? Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. Wait, what am I doing? I'm going to T. T1. Supposedly this is a free one. So bring the intensity of T1 to seven, then keep editing. Expo, ooh, that's clarity. Exposure down one. Contrast up to one. Temperature down to 0.7. Tint down 1.5. And then let's get the clarity, bump the clarity up a little bit to 1.4 or five before and after. This filter has more of a faded look as you can see. And I think if you're somebody who uses a lot of green in your feed or you want to start incorporating more greens for the winter, um, I think this would be a good filter option for you. That trick to getting the perfect aesthetic is to being consistent with the colors that are within your photos. So if you take a look, as you could see in these photos, within each photo, all of the colors are white, tans, greens, or reds. Like I don't have any blues in my photos, pinks, um, yellows, very much of yellows. Like I don't have any random colors. I am shooting consistently so that when I'm editing, my filters look consistent as well. Going into the Third edit. With the third edit, this one is good for if you're somebody who likes to incorporate red around the holiday season or red within your photos. Um, this filter would be a good option for you. We're gonna start with the filter C1. C as in Christmas. Or if you don't celebrate Quis Christmas, you could do C as in, can't say Christ because then you wouldn't celebrate Christmas. C as in caroling, there you go. Or cocoa. Hot cocoa. C is in cocoa. 
Okay, so we're gonna do the C1 filter at the intensity 8.5, and then we're going to continue to edit tone, bring those highlights up just one, white balance, temperature down to 1.5, and then skin. I never remember if skin is included in the free version. I hope it is. And fade to 3.5. Cool, so that is the before and after using this filter. This one is definitely more colorful on the cooler spectrum of the temperature. And also if you've noted, if you're looking at like the reds in my photos, it's just, a, it creates a really nice vibrant red color. If you do have the paid version of Visco, I always, always, always recommend using the HSL tool because then you can really manipulate specific colors using this tool. So I'm somebody who doesn't like a lot of yellow in my photo, so I'll often go to the yellow, bring the saturation down, and usually there's hints of yellows within the whites, and it really makes those whites like true, true white. So I bring the saturation all the way down, and I'll like play with the lightness, um, or even bump the hue over to orange. Um, if you're somebody who likes more those warm, brown, toasty edits, then playing with the orange here, bringing the saturation down a little and the lightness down makes that brown color as opposed to like that vibrant orange. Um, so yeah, that's just a little tip if you're somebody who has the paid version of Visco or if you've been thinking about paying for that version and you wanna use this tool. Okay, now the fourth filter, fourth filter. With the fourth filter, if you're somebody who uses a lot of whites in your photos, I think this would be a good option for you. We're gonna start with the filter P5. P as in Paul, but that's not very holiday-y. P as in present, P as in present. P5, oh, that's four, five, there she is. And we're gonna bring the intensity 50%, so six. Continue to edit, let's do that contrast. 1.5, highlights up to six. Uh, white balance. We're gonna do the temperature and the tint, both of them at 1.5, and then the saturation down to 2.9. Nice. Um, okay, so this is the before and after. Like I said, if you're somebody who likes to incorporate a lot of whites, I really like the way it makes the whites look here. It's very soft and almost creamy in a way. So before and after. As a quick little reminder, I do have other seasonal videos just like this. So I have a summer one and I also have a fall video. And then when spring comes around, I'll be making a spring video as well. But something to keep in mind is that when summer comes around, I'm actually going to start this whole series over using Lightroom. So if you like these sort of videos and you're wanting to expand your horizons beyond Visco editing, I will be starting a new seasonal series using the Lightroom app, showing you how to edit different ways per each season using the Lightroom app. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and you can stay up to date with those videos. Now to the very last edit. We're going into F2. F as in fa la 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 la. F2. And the intensity for F2, we're actually gonna keep it pretty high up to 10. Continue to edit the contrast up to one, highlights up to 2.3 and shadows 2.3 and then the temperature negative one. Yay, before and after. I think this filter, I feel like this filter would be really great if you're somebody who really likes to play with colors in your feed. I'm not somebody who typically likes to post high contrasty, colorful type photos, but if that is your style, I still like to provide that as an option within these sorts of videos. So before and after, boom. If you had fun with any of these filters, make sure you grab that downloadable that I made for you down below. Again, in that downloadable, it has five of these filters in like a PDF style so that you can see, you can save those formulas on your laptop. It also has 10 other filters that I didn't show you in this video. They are other options to edit for the holiday season. If you've made it this far, please give a thumbs up to the video because it really does help me out a lot and subscribe to my channel. If you're not already, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post and I will see you guys in the next one. Follow your joy, bye.